everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a review slash wear test of the new uh, Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. Uh, I purchased mine off of the, the Ultos website and I got mine in two different colors because I didn't know which one would be a good color match for me. So I ended up getting MW2, which is medium warm two, and MN3, which is medium neutral three. Now, this product cost-wise is about $12.99 to around $15. I noticed I paid $12.99 on, at Ulta on their website, but on Physicians Formula's website, the cost is like $14.95, so it kind of varies, I guess, from where you purchase it at. They have the shade range in it. They have 16 shades from light, medium, dark, and deep, which is good for Physicians Formula because, as you know, when they come out with a uh, foundation, it's usually like four colors and that's it. So it's a good shade range for Physicians Formula. Um, I said it has an SPF of 20. You get one ounce of product in the bottle, which is typical for a foundation. And let's see what it claims um, the benefits are. It says it's a long wearing, buildable and breathable foundation that provides lightweight, medium coverage with a healthy satin finish. And it says it's compatible with all skin types and featuring our exclusive brightening complex and hyaluronic acid to hydrate, brighten, and improve the appearance of skin tone. Added boost of vitamins A, C, and E provides a flawless, healthy coverage. So, well, that's good that there's some hyaluronic acid in there. Um, my skin, like, really likes hyaluronic acid, so that's, like, that's good. Um, it says it's a medium, what did I say, a medium coverage with a healthy satin finish. So, I usually tend to gravitate more towards a full matte foundation, um, just because I have oily skin. Um, as you can see, I have redness, I have acne scars, so I like to have a lot of coverage on me. And with my skin being oily, I like the matte, um, the matte finish on it. But we'll go ahead and give this a try. It says that it is buildable so we'll see we'll go ahead and build it up and see how it is so yeah let's go ahead and just jump right on in and put it on so to give this a fair chance i'm going to do what i normally do um primer wise and everything what i do for, with every day just to you know give it a, sh a fair chance of everything so first of all we're going to put on the smashbox photo finish primer water and spray that on i love the way this stuff smells and it's got like a cooling effect when it hits your face. I really, really like it. Okay. And then next, we're going to go in with the Farsali Unicorn Essence. I love this stuff. It just like blurs out my pores imperfections. It's just... And this, and I said this in my favorites. Uh, this with the um, primer water. I don't know what it is. On my skin, it's just magic. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with, we're going to do MW2 Medium Warm 2. And if that's too late, we'll go ahead and add that MN3. Uh, but if this is too dark, then we'll just have to work with it. But I think this is going to work out good. So I'll give it a little shake. And I don't know if I mentioned, this isn't a glass bottle. And then the applicator, let me shake it up, twist it. And it has the uh, doe foot applicator, which a lot of people are um, comparing to like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer or now the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. But it almost reminds me of everything about it reminds me of the um, the Clinique Foundation that came out with the doe foot applicator like that. So we're just going to go ahead. All right. I guess we're just going to go ahead and just put it on our face. We'll do one side first to see how that um, turns out. I don't know. Oh. I feel like I'm not really getting a lot on the um, applicator and like kind of making a mess with it. Um, like when I'm putting it in and pulling it out, it's like the product is like almost spilling over on top of the opening right there. So I can see this kind of in a way turning into a little bit of a mess, but we'll see. I don't know if that's even enough. That should be enough. We'll just do one side first and see what it looks like. Okay. Um, so this is just, we'll just do one side and see how 
it looks. I'm just using my Eco uh, Tools sp Beauty Sponge. I love this sponge. Okay. Now, hmm. I think color match wise, this will work, but let's just see. Mm -hmm. It's like it is like coverage. Because I can still see a little bit of redness and I can see some acne scars still. Um, but it's very, very, ooh, the hair, I hate that. Um, it's very, very lightweight feeling. It's not heavy feeling whatsoever. Um, it's got a, it's almost got a cooling feeling to it, to the skin, to like to the touch. So, that is just... One side done. Now you can see the difference of this side having foundation and this side being bare face. As you can see the redness on the bare face. Um, you can still see, it's covered the redness, but you can still see a little bit of redness up close. I can still see some acne scars um, on my face. So it's it's definitely a satin finish, uh, but you can still, it is light covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the other side so we can have like one full face. See how that looks, and then we'll probably go in with a second um, layer. This is this is like super messy, though. I can see this becoming an issue. We have a full face on of one layer of foundation. I'm just trying to blend it in where I uh, and it's definitely a satin uh, finish, light coverage. Like I said, I can still see a little bit of redness and some scarring. It is got to, it does have a little bit of dew and luminosity to it. It's very pretty though. It's very skin like, but with a little bit of a glow to it. Uh, the color match was perfect. That was like dead on. So I'm like happy about that because sometimes you know when you're ordering online, you think you got the right color and you get it and it's like too dark or too light or whatever. So I'm glad this actually turned out really good. But I did look up swatches online and everything and just to try to make sure I was getting um somewhat of the right colors for my skin coloring um hmm let's go ahead and go oh you know what i'm noticing too i'm noticing in i get a lot of a lot of foundations do this to me i get like um build up in like the crevice right here and i'm noticing that the only foundation that does not do that to me is the um Too faced uh peach perfect foundation that's the only one that doesn't do it to me but I can see with a little bit of buildup, not so much on this side as I can on this side. Do a light second layer. I don't want to do a heavy second layer because I'm afraid this might get a little bit too cakey looking. This is like making a total mess on the lid. But let's go ahead, especially in the spots where I still see a little bit of redness. Really, really pretty. It did build up to me to a, a medium. Um, to a medium coverage and everything. It's looking really glowy. I don't know. We'll see how it is. I, I we'll see how it goes on my uh on my skin throughout the day with my oils coming through and everything. I mean it's really pretty right now. Um I hope it's translating on camera. It's actually really pretty. It's I'm just impressed that I, I got the color match dead on. That's like that makes me happy. <laughs> But yeah, it's looking, it looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I will be back for a check-in on that. Okay, I am back for my check-in. I have all of my makeup on right now. It is 2.10 in the afternoon. I have a late, I got a late start today, people. Don't judge. So as of right now, um, everything applied over it really nice uh i did a cre uh actually did let me show you what i put on for um a contour i used this wet and wild uh mega cushion contour and then i did a highlight with the wet and wild also mega cushion highlighter i put those on first and those actually applied over them over the foundation really really nice it didn't break it up or anything it it actually it went on really well and then i you know i put powder uh products on too it went on really nicely i don't see any breakup yet um i do so like i said right here still it's still i don't know if you can see a little bit of build up right there not so much on this side as it is on this side but that's usually tends to happen to me 
but as of right now, it is looking, it's actually looking really, really nice. Still has a little bit of a glow to it. Does, definitely has a satin finish to it. Uh, medium coverage, but it actually looks really nice with everything on with your, you know, your blush, your bronzer, your highlight and everything. It looks really well. So, like I said, it is now 212. So, I'm going to go about my day, do what I need to do, and I will do another check-in in a few hours and let you know how it is holding up on my face. I'm back with the check-in. It is now 642. So, I had had this on for four and a half hours or so. So, so far, um, it looks really good. I can see, though, that I am on my nose and right here getting oily. Um, it's breaking apart a little bit right here. Not so much on this side, but more so on this side. Uh, I see, and that's, that's normal for me, no foundation ever, like I said, other than the Peach Perfect uh, Too Faced one, they all kind of break up right there. But other than that, I will say it looks really good. Uh, I've been out today, we went and ran a few errands, uh, we went out to eat, and when I was looking in the mirror, um, in the car, in natural light outside, it just, my face looked really flawless. It looked really good. I couldn't believe it. I just kept staring. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I turned to my husband. I'm like, doesn't my skin look beautiful? Doesn't the foundation look nice? And he's like, yeah, 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 whatever. But it's just, it does look really, it does look really good. So we'll go ahead and I'm just going to use what's, you know, because it's still a little bit damp, my uh, sponge. We'll just go ahead and, uh, because I haven't blotted it all yet today. And we'll just blot right there. It still looks really I mean, it looks really pretty, really nice. It's not like, like I said, like it's just like right here breaking apart. That's about it. And then like just, it was just oily right in this area right here. So I'm going to go about my business for a few more hours, come back in and give my final check-in on it. And yeah, see what my thoughts are. I'll see you then. Hi everyone. I am back for my final and last check-in. It is... 9.33 right now. So I've had this on for about seven and a half hours. Um, let's see. I will say since we blotted last time, I did not get any oilier. Uh, I still have a nice little glow to it uh, that it had. Um, the buildup, it's not, it's still the same right there in the crevice. Um, not a lot, just wore off a little bit right there. And... Maybe like a little bit around my nose, but I did, I was rubbing my nose because I had an itch, so that could be why it did that too. But I will have to say, my um, contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, all that is, on both sides, is pretty well intact, which is good. It hasn't worn away or anything like that. It hasn't broken up there at all or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm not feeling oily at all or anything. I think it's really... Um, I think it's a decent foundation. I really do. I like it. I think I still need, I need to wear it a few more times. As of right now, it looks, I mean, it still looks really good, to be quite honest. Except for, like, the little spots around the nose and everything. Other than that, like, I think it's, it actually performed very well. It's not, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, but like I said, I would probably have to, you know... Just see, try it out a couple more, a few more times and is this foundation. And I don't know, I kind of like it. I think I like it. I, I definitely want to wear it a few more times to see. Like, this is just a first impression wear test. But on first impression, I think it wore really well for my skin, for my oily skin. Um, it didn't break up as bad as I thought it would. And I've never tried a Physician's Formula uh, foundation before. So this is the first time trying any of their foundations. And I really... I think I like it. I like the way it looks and everything on my on my skin and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a couple more tries and I'll let you know. Um, you know, in a in a another video, probably my favorites, my monthly favorites, how what I thought of it. Um, going further, but first impression, 
wear test. I mean, I, I like it. It's it's not a bad foundation from the drugstore. Um, yeah, I think it wore really well, you know, like I said, with my oily skin and everything. So, yeah, we'll see, you know, as of right now, I like it. But I'm going to go ahead and, and try it out some more and everything. And, you know, I'll let you know final verdict in my uh, February. I'm like, what month is it? February favorites, what I actually think of it. But as of right now, first impression, I like it. It's not a bad foundation at all. I'd recommend it. It's not bad. And I did really good on the color matching, too. Like, that's like a perfect color match for me. But it is the end of the night now. I'm ready to pull these lashes off, wash my face, get my jammies on, and go lay down. Because I am exhausted. Exhausted. It's been a long day. So, yeah, I'm ready to, to end the day right now. So... That is all I have for this review and wear test. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to stay a while. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think, um, if you've tried this foundation and what your thoughts are on it, and if you are planning on buying it or not. And other than that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!